Good morning guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lauren. For today's video, I believe this is day four of Vlogmas. So I woke up this morning and there was a little bit of snow on the ground, believe it or not. So I was kind of thinking today that I wanted to do uh, like a winter look, but specifically a look geared toward dry winter skin. So I'm gonna throw in a few products here that are kind of more moisturizing, more glowy, to help combat that dry skin that we can sometimes get in the winter time. But since I gotta get on and get ready for work today, before we get into it, make sure you give this video a like down below if you're liking Vlogmas, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that my lips are moisturized. That is the main area of dryness on my face that I get in the winter time. I've really been struggling with that right now. So I'm just gonna use the Burt's Bees Overnight Intensive Lip Treatment. Uh, this is what it looks like here, kind of in this little jar. I've been using this for a while now. Um, I think it's a good drugstore option. It's not my absolute favorite. If you're looking for something more high-end, I would go with the Laneige uh, uh, Lip Treatment Mask, Leaf Mask, something like that, in like the pink jar. Um, but that is, I think, around like $20, so uh, this time around I decided to just go for a more drugstore option and then even though it does say overnight treatment um, I do like to use it during the daytime. Then I have been talking about this moisturizer a lot recently. It is one of my uh, absolute favorite products uh, especially for the winter time. This is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask. It can be used as a mask or a moisturizer. I really like to just use it as a moisturizer day and night super hydrating and I don't feel that it messes with the application of your makeup at all which is amazing so it's like it's thick and moisturizing but it's not like greasy or heavy feeling so I have just given that a minute or so to sink into my skin now I'm going to go in with my actual primer for today I'm going to be using the essence fresh and fit awake primer uh, this is a great drugstore option. Now I do have a combo oily skin, but I do get drier skin in the winter time. So I really like this one that it's moisturizing, it's soothing because it has, you know, vitamins and cranberry water and stuff in this one, but it doesn't um, go too overboard because I am prone to get oily throughout the day. So I'm just gonna give this a minute or so to sink in as well. And then for foundation, I'm gonna keep it really easy. I'm gonna go in with the matching foundation. This is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup. I have mine in the shade 30 Fresh Honey. It is a little bit dark for me, but we'll lighten it up with concealer. So kind of the same thing. This is a lightweight foundation, but um, it is more on the hydrating side because again, it has that vitamin complex and cranberry water, you know, it has healthy glow on here, but it's nothing crazy where it is going to be, um, you know, something that's going to really make my oils come through throughout the day. So I put some on my Morphe sponge. This Morphe sponge, um, I've really been liking it, but my problem that I have with it is, is that, I don't know if you can see that, it's already getting a lot of like cracks and tears in it. So I do really love the texture of it. I love the way it applies my makeup and it was only $8, so a lot more affordable than the original Beauty Blender. But I think tomorrow I actually need to go to Ulta and get a new one. But I think I mentioned this before, I wanna try the, um, the Jeffree Star one, the Jeffree Star X Morphe, because that one comes in a set of three but two of them are like the smaller ones, so I wanna try that for like doing like under eye stuff. This foundation is nice as well because it's kind of like a lighter uh, medium coverage. Sometimes when your skin is feeling a little more um, dehydrated, it doesn't really look the best to just like pack on heavy stuff. So it just, just keeps it light, but gives you the coverage where you need it. So you can see, you know, we got, you know, a decent amount of coverage, but it's keeping, you know, a nice healthy glow to the skin. So for concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline uh, Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. So you can see what that looks like there. I have mine in the shade 05 Ivory. 
So I wouldn't say this one is as super hydrating, um, but I think it'll be good to have kind of that combination of the more dewy, but then we have like the little more full coverage of the concealer in the spots where we need it. Again, I'm just gonna take the Morphe sponge, blend that out. So when I'm going for a more dewy, hydrating look, I like to keep a lot of my products like cream or liquid based. So for my uh, contour and bronzer, I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Organic Wear uh, Sculpting Bronzer. Uh, this is a fairly new product. I have mine in the shade. It doesn't say it on here, but I'm pretty sure this is the shade Toffee. So I'm gonna do my normal contour spots. Then to blend that in, I'm going to use uh, my Tarte uh, buffing brush. Next, I'm gonna go in with a cream highlight. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Pearlized highlighter in the shade lunch money this is a pretty like light golden champagne tone so i'm just going to use my finger dot this on the top of my cheekbones so it's a nice pretty more like natural dewy glow well i think you can see outside a little bit of the snow that's on the ground um okay so for my blush I actually don't own a cream blush, but what I've been doing um, to kind of use up one of my products in my project pan is using this uh, lipstick from Marc Jacobs in the shade Cream and Sugar. I actually use this as my cream blush, so I warm it up on my hand, get a good amount on there. So it just kind of gives a pretty color, but like a soft flush, like it's not too harsh. So I dab my beauty blender into that or beauty sponge and transfer that onto my cheeks. And then it works nicely that it matches um, your blush and your lipstick can match perfectly. So if you're like me and you have a hard time using up lip products or you've got one in your project pan, this is a great trick to use to get more use out of a product. Okay, so off camera, I did just quickly do my brows and then I just went back in with the beauty sponge and blended everything together one more time. So the next thing that I am going to do, so this is my, I think, last sort of, you know, cream product I need to do before I put the powder on. This is another one of my um, Project Pan products. This is my Benefit High Brow Glow. So this is like a pencil used to um, highlight your brow bone, inner corner, that sort of thing. This one I've been having a lot of trouble getting use out of in my Project Pan. So I wanna make sure I'm making an effort to use it more often. And it's such a pretty product. It gives a nice highlight, but I don't know why I don't think to reach for it. I'm gonna highlight the arch of my brow and also the inner corner. Okay, now I think we're ready to go in with powder. So I am gonna use my Too Faced Peach Perfect uh, Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. Now, I know mattifying kinda goes against, uh, you know, the whole idea of the glowy makeup for dry skin that we're doing today but I feel like this powder is absolutely perfect because it really gives you an airbrush finish. Um, it keeps oils at bay, but it doesn't make you look dry and cakey, anything like that. This is my absolute favorite powder. I'm almost out of it actually. I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing it. So as uh, you may know, I am doing a project pan. I'm working on kind of curating my collection because my goal is to really have you know just my favorite so like anything i reach for is something i absolutely love so i do have a few more um powders to go through but i think once i do that and i'm ready to like repurchase you know the one i actually like want to have in my collection is definitely going to be this one 
So the next thing I'm going to do is start finishing up with my powder products. The first thing I'm going to go in with is my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade The Princess Daiquiris. This is just a soft, uh, kind of like peachy pink, a little bit glowy blush. Even when I use cream products, I do like to go in and top it off with a little bit of a powder product just to help lock it into place. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Essence Luminous Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade 01 Sunshine. So I really like this bronzer. It's a nice kind of like uh, more on the cool tone side bronzer. It's not shimmery, but it does somehow give you more of a glowy finish. Then just to keep it easy here, I'm going to use that same bronzer. Use a fluffy crease brush and just I'm going to define my crease with that. And I'm also going to run this around the lower lash line. Someone mentioned this to me on one of my previous videos too, to use the highbrow glow as a, um, uh, in your waterline. It doesn't show up too, too good on my skin tone, but it does add a little bit of brightness there. Then kind of keeping with the glowy theme, I'm going to use the uh, Stila. Uh, Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten. I'm going to pat this out on my lids. And I'm going to buff that out again. Then just to amp up that inner corner, I'm going to go back in with a little bit of the ColourPop Lunch Money. So for mascara, I'm just going to do my Too Faced Better Than Sex, just finish off the eye look. Okay, so that's it for the eyes, really simple and easy. And then for the lips, I want to just keep something really moisturizing. So I've still got um, that heavy lip balm on. I'm just going to tap it off with the lipstick we use as the cream blush, the Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar. When my lips are feeling a little more dry, I don't really like to use lip liner. I don't feel like that helps anything at all. So it's really nice that it matches your blush perfectly. Then for just a little bit more hydration to the lips, I'm going to go in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. Oh, I almost forgot. I do want to top this off with just a tiny bit more, more highlight on my cheeks. I'm going to go in with the um, Cody Airspun uh, Loose Face Highlighter. Mine is in the shade Snow Much Ice. This has a little bit of a uh, pinky tint to it. You do not need a lot of this. A little goes a long way. I'm just going to do that right on the top of my cheekbones. Okay, guys, so that is it for this uh, glowy winter look for dry winter skin. Please don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite products for winter, specifically for drier skin days. I would love to hear your recommendations. And also don't forget to let me know any more ideas for Vlogmas videos or things that you would like to see throughout the month of December. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and also that subscribe button and notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.